Hi everyone, uh, it's me again, Moonshine. And before I start today's video, I'd like to thank uh, Alyssa and Indignus uh, over at the forum. Um, thank you for reaching out to us. Uh, Alyssa reached out through me, uh, to me through email. And thank you for doing that, you know, sharing your thoughts uh, in this way. Uh, is a, it takes a different kind of bravery to express vulnerabilities in this way. So I commend you for that and I hope it helped you. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, the last week was seemed and felt particularly heavy for me personally and also again to the people I have been interacting with. It felt heavy because you know we are way into this strange time you know of being stuck okay? and that creates feelings of heaviness okay like things feel slow, days pass into days and we forget what day it is and it starts to creep into your motivations and uh, maybe you, get, you find yourself getting bored and lethargic. Okay. There's also a lot of uncertainty and that's also something else that causes this heavy feeling. We're here but we still don't know how we're gonna get out of here and that feels pretty heavy or it can be the heaviness that comes from certainty like how something's over you know many for some people who are studying out there whose schools have decided to just cut the school year there is a feeling of oh man like especially for students who are graduating okay i've, I've been speaking to some of you that it's just a shock. It's a shock to the system that something that you've been with for years is suddenly pulled out from under you. And that's just a, a shock, a heavy blow to the system. Um, and, you know, personally, in the past few weeks, I don't know, this might sound a little bit morbid, but it is quite morbid, but it's real that certain people that are in my um, vicinity and some of them I know personally, some of them I don't but people who I know know them have passed away in one way or another connected to this uh, virus that we're all trying to deal with and that's heavy That's why it's been a heavy week. Okay. But to be honest, there were moments where it wasn't so heavy. Um, where instead of the heaviness, I felt a lightness to things, you know, and taking each day just day by day. And um, I found myself starting to set little goals. And starting to anticipate those little goals okay in the little conversations I had with my friends you know there were laughs we found ways to make things interesting and to still find a way to connect to each other in all this so there were moments of lightness okay there were surprising moments of connection so how to deal with that, right? That there are these two conflicting emotions, two conflicting states that are present. The heaviness, the sadness, the anger, and then the lightness, you know. Gratefulness, calm, maybe even moments of celebration. Do you feel that sometimes? That it's weird? To be handling heaviness and lightness at the same time. If you feel this and you're confused by it, maybe this is my little validation that you're not going crazy if you feel two things at the same time. Okay? Grief and celebration can exist at the same time. Sadness and calm can exist at the same time. Anger and gratefulness can exist at the same time. Thing is, feeling this might make us 
feel overstretched and tired, like feeling too many things. But then, you know, there are many ways we can learn to deal with this. You can, we can learn just to sit back sometimes and let these emotions just wash over us. Or we can sit down and be aware of them and learn to hold them separately. Okay? Give time for your anger, give time for your gratefulness. We can also learn to put them down and rest. Uh, the learning of that though, maybe I'll reserve that for a different time. Um, we can also learn though to expand so that we hold one and the other and really see how much we can feel and experience as human beings. You, know? you can be curious about your feelings. I like to imagine myself sometimes stepping out of myself and just watching myself feel these things. Yes, it, it can get a little weird, yeah, but I try, I, I find that it's healthy to have that sense of curiosity with yourself and your own feelings because these are the things that you experience that can tell you more information about yourself and about your world in ways that are not the same as, you know, reading facts or reading information from events. This is information that is coming from you. And as to what you do with that information, well, I guess again that, that can be for another time. Okay. But there are many ways we can deal with these kinds of emotions, these two conflicting strong emotions. The great thing is that all these responses are valid. Okay. You can you can put them down. Okay, you can learn to do that. You can learn to be curious about them both at the same time. You can look at them individually. But what's important is that you learn to not reject them and take them as they are. But also be patient with yourself because that's not easy. Okay. Um, so maybe as this is a time where we are being called to more curiosity and more gentleness to ourselves much like last week's message but now it's learning to use those emotions that may feel more energizing you know like the calmness the gratefulness the celebration the joy allowing those emotions to surface and energize us in this time so that we can learn to hold, to accept, and to carry the anger, the sadness, and the grief that may also be coming up for us right now. The hows to that, that varies from person to person. And I don't know. Maybe you could write to me again and tell me how you do it or how you are curious about doing it. Carrying your two conflicting things, heaviness and lightness. Let's see. We're all learning as we go along here anyway. So that's it for this week. Um, thanks for listening. Uh, see you again next week. Reach out to us, my email, letters at 8bitfiction.com, uh, our forum on 8bitfiction.com, and of course, Twitter and Facebook, we're always there. Uh, that's it. See you next week, guys.